Hi, it's Julie here from Clancy Scooter Creations and today I'm going to show you how to make these bead star decorations. What you will need to make these are 8mm round beads, 30 of those. You can make them with bigger beads, they do need to be round ones. So I've got 30 of those. You need some 3mm round beads, not very many of those. And if you want some 3x6mm oval rice beads, you'll need 7 or 8 of those. That's all those ones you'll need. You'll also need a needle that is big enough to go through all the beads. That'll fit through my, all these beads have a one millimeter hole. Sometimes you'll get the odd bead that it won't go through. So you just, like that one, you just put it aside, get another bead. Um, and the ones you put aside you can always try later with a smaller needle if you were to make another one. You also need dental floss. I always use the Oral-B Essentials which comes in a two pack or you can, which is I think it's 25 meters per, no 50 meters per roll or you can get them in the bigger container that is 100 meters in one container. There are lots of different types of dental floss on the market. This one I prefer for making decorations because it's not as flat as other ones. It's got no flavouring and it's not sticky. Some dental flosses are a bit sticky. Now I'm going to cut off a piece of this dental floss that's basically as wide as my arms will reach. Thread the needle. You don't need to keep the thread right up near the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to put 12 of these red 8mm beads on the dental floss. I tend to do these in threes. As I said, this can be done with bigger beads, bigger main beads rather than the 8mm. But you will also probably need bigger than the 3mm for the to go on the outside of the points. I've done these decorations with elderly people at seniors groups. And they've done them with like 14 mil beads and the outer beads have actually been 8 mil. So there's no, there's no rules. But I just find the 8 mil make a nice size star. And they also, I can use them for other decorations. Okay, so I've got 12 beads on my dental floss. I'm going to pull them down to about six inches from the end. I'm going to lay it flat, keeping in mind that this is the end with the tail. So I'm going to make a double knot. If you do these with different colour beads, it's easier to tell which one is the end with the tail. The reason being, in a minute when I show you what we do next, if you thread it back through the wrong way, it's possible that your, your um, beads will all come undone. So that's a double knot one way, a single knot the other. 
and then I'm just going to, for added security, do a dub, another double knot, the same way that I went the first time. Because I've kept it flat on the table, I still know where the end was, which was here on my on the right hand side of the knots. I'm now going to cut the tail to about an inch or two or three centimeters. And I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go back through the end that had the tail. I'm going to go back through three. And pull it so the tail comes through a bit, through another three, pull it and the tail has totally disappeared. So what we've got now is we've got a ring of 12 beads. We're now going to take another two beads on our needle where our thread comes out we're going to go over that bead and put the needle through the next one so what we've ended up with is two beads on top of one bead put another two beads on over one, over the next one and through the following one, always going in the same direction which in this case is anti-clockwise. Once again, two beads on the needle, over one bead through the next one. And again, and we repeat this until we've done this six times. Over one, through the next. Sometimes you might catch up the tail somewhere in there. That's not a problem. If it pokes through, we can just cut it off after. Two beads, over one, through the next. And the final two beads for this round, over one, through the next, pull the floss through so we've only got one strand. Now we're back where we started from. That first raised bead, I'm actually with the floss has come out under it, I'm actually going to come up through that bead. So where this is starting to be a point, I'm here on the my right hand side of it. I'm going to get one bead and one tiny bead. So I've now got the point of the star with a single bead on the top and a tiny bead above it. I'm now going to come back through the big bead and down into the other side of that point. So what we've got now is a point with a tiny little gold bead on the top. We'll go into the next one and normally you can wiggle your needle around and come out at the, through the top ready for the next bead. These need to be pulled quite tight. Don't pull them so tight that these little gold beads snap because they do tend to. But tight so it's, it's not all floppy. Once again, one big bead, one little bead. And then come back down through the big bead
back down so we've got once again keeping it all up one side down the next if you have a look at the threads you can see it's gone up one side down the other if you come back down the same side it means the point of the star will just flop about it's not the end of the world but it looks a bit better when it's all done in the correct sequence sometimes the floss just gets caught as you're going along just use the needle to pull it out the way once again up one with a little gold one on the top come back down into the other of the two beads across the bead that's on that original 12 and up into the right hand of the two beads one more by keeping it flat on the table it's a lot easier to remember to stay going in the same direction so down all the way down to that bottom round and then back up to the where there's two back down to the bottom row I'm just coming through two beads at once some of these beads don't have very big holes so it's a bit tight and back up now we're going to put our one bead on And this is where we're going to do our hanger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two little gold beads and a long bead. And I'm going to do that until I've got eight long beads on. That's two. three so two little beads one long bead you can just do this all with little beads you don't have to have the rice beads I know in some places they're a bit hard to get a hold of but three millimeter round beads are pretty common you can use seed beads if you haven't got round beads so there's no, we well could do it all the hanger with rice beads, you could do them with bugle beads. You know, there's no ruling as to what beads you have to do the hanger with. But you do need round beads on the points of the star. Okay, so I've now done two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rice beads. I'm now going to put a final two of the round beads and then I'm going to come back down into the top of that pointed bead. You, I could come back down into those rice beads but I'll come back down into the point into the large bead. I could have done four rice beads initially and then come back through into the two of them which is what has been done on this one it's got two rice two round beads and then i start doing the hanger this one's the same this one i've just done a small hanger
of just round beads and that's because that went on the top of my own Christmas tree a small Christmas tree but we'll just come back down into that big bead into that where there's two and there's a I'll pull the dental floss tight because it's got to pull all the way through the hanger and now what we're going to do is we're going to come round that initial 12 beads that we put on we're just going to run our dental floss all the way through those 12 beads again Depending on the size of the hole in the beads, it can be a bit tight because you've already got in some places, you know, more than one strand of dental floss in there. So we go around those initial 12. And we're back to the beginning again. What I do is I go around, I go through a few more just, just to be doubly sure. There's no way that this can come undone. I've had decorations for years, you know, thrown about, moved about, you know, put out at markets, packed back up again, put back out again, all the rest of it. And I've never had a single decoration where the dental floss is broken so we've gone through real rough enough one and a half times round that initial 12 just cut the dental floss and there is your star ready to hang on a Christmas tree these are great items for making for friends and family they can also be made to be sold I've sold them at markets, I've sold, had some shops sell them for me, um, give them away as part of presents as, as like a decoration on a parcel, um, or just do them for yourself, for your own Christmas tree. I hope you've enjoyed this, this video and it's been informative for you. Um, please like and subscribe. Next week, I'm going to show how to make these bells. These are bead bells made with the same three lots of beads as I've just made the star with. A bit more complicated, but they start off the same, so next week I'll show how to make these. It'll be a bit longer video because obviously they're a lot more involved. But for now, just leave you with a picture of these stars. Doesn't matter what colour beads you use, you can use clear beads, multicoloured beads, any sort of beads. It's whatever you like. And I hope you like the video, as I said. And I'll see you next week if you want to join me for the, making the bell. Thank you very much.